What we have is early 70s Pantera, kind of Ford's racing division at the time. They was in a joint with a, uh, an Italian company. Nonetheless, came originally with a Ford V8 into it, a transverse transaxle for rear wheel drive midship engine. The customer here had just purchased this vehicle. Uh, he was not able to really drive it, go into it in great detail, but he did bring the vehicle here because it was a running issue. What we have is, it appears to be about a mid-90s 351 Ford Windsor engine that has all the factory plumbing and all that appears to be something from a Mustang. The problem with this is, is that there's no control or programmability into that system without going to a great expense to adapt it over. Now the Ford system is a good system. The upper intake plenum really doesn't fit the car, but that's a matter of opinion. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a multi-port fuel injection, injection system onto it that almost mimics the original equipment that's on this vehicle here. And when I say original equipment, I mean for that year of motor, not for this year of car. So it's a multi-port, eight injector system with a throttle body open and close that will fit right onto this motor. It comes with the programmability and the adjustments that are needed to fine tune the engine in for this specific application. The one that we're using is the Elderbrock system. The Elderbrock system, as I said, will bolt right on, go right through it. We'll have a handheld uh, programmer where we can go ahead and not only monitor what's going on in the engine, but we can change the timing, for example, or change the fuel ratios or whatever we want to do to fine tune this in. And it's easily accept accessible so that that can be done at any time. Saving the expense of trying to upgrade the factory system from that particular engine into being able to do the same thing. And certainly we'll have more flexibility afterwards. I have the completed multi-port fuel injection that we installed on the Pantera. It's, it's almost, or I should say very similar to a factory multi-port system. The difference being is, is that Elderbrock had actually put an air gap or a space between the engine and the uh, intake manifold to reduce heat being transferred from the engine into it, which did give it a little bit of rise and actually gave it a very good look. The system itself consisted of one computer. It had multi outputs for a wide range of things, including the distributor or ignition system, which the ignition system is tied into this system. It runs excellent. It, it learned itself real well. It took commands as far as the final tuning of it very well. Uh, I can't say enough about this system. I think that it's something that was well thought out, well designed, and certainly works well with the application that we put it on here and many more. This is a real treat right here, actually. Just because it's running so good. This car really runs out very nicely. It, it, in many aspects, it drives like a modern car. I thought it would be um, a lot more obtrusive to, to drive. Like just, I thought it would be hard to drive, you know. Some of these cars are really, got to kind of muscle them around and be careful with them and stuff. But this thing, it, it steers perfect. The brakes feel good. It's got this really cool gated shifter, which I thought would be take a minute to get used to, but it really only did take a minute to get used to. Like I've, I've driven it five miles and I'm already used to it. It's weird because first gear is down at the bottom and then second, third, fourth, fifth. So you kind of have to get used to that. You got to kind of peel yourself in and out, but once you get in it, it's, um, yeah, it's comfortable. I mean, I'm comfortable. Drivability was was pretty rough, especially from uh, a start. It's almost impossible to be smooth. Um, the car was very sluggish under acceleration um, in pretty much every gear. And uh, now with the new Edelbrock system, uh, you know everything's uh, nice and smooth, easy to get started. Uh, the whole uh, 
acceleration band is uh, nice and smooth. Feels very good.